magic inspiration appears set. Just obscured as magic inspiration. And the gates are open from the 1200 meter marker. Over towards the inside, Russian Dolls right there. Regina Bellissima on the right hand side is quick. Also right up there with the speed, Natalia. Magic Inspiration, the white headgears around them. Towards the inside, Honey Land. Then comes Trip to Royalty Racing, about three to four lengths off the leaders. Trip to Royalty is further back in the running, and then we got Expressivity. Coming down to the business end of affairs with about 600 meters to go, Regina Bellissima by about a neck. Natalia's on the outside. Willamy's just waiting on the outside. White sleeves and cap. Russian doll towards the inside, cornered in fourth position. Coming inside the 400. Regina Bellissima down the center of the course has a length to spare. Russian gold goes towards the inside. Willamy now the white sleeves and cap. Russian doll becomes the live wire now. 150 to go if you're on number two. Russian doll doing as she is bred. Russian Doll looking to open proceedings by a neck. Regina Bellissima is second. Then it gets tight in behind that. Will O Me in the white sleeves and cap. And Honey lands along the inside. Trip to Royalty staying on for the minor spots. Perhaps number three, Will O Me, just denying the other. So number two, Russian Doll, the Path Fork, Michael Roberts, bred by Werner Roberts, who also owns Russian Doll, and Rachel Benica. They open up proceedings by about a half. Regina Bellissima second, Willamy, I fancy third, Honey lands on the inside, then came Trip to Royalty. 300 meters left to go, Russian Doll, two from two, the Path Fork out of the Joshua Dancer Mare, Baron Nova, and of course the Michael Roberts team. They know the family exceptionally well. Rachel Benica just straightening up Russian Doll the last 100 metres and will go on for the victory in race number one over 1,200 metres. Willow Magic, Quasar Nutel Breeders Juvenile Plate for Phillies has gone the way of the Michael Roberts train number two, Russian Doll. As I said to you, Russian Doll could end up being anything, and Rachel Venecker could end up being anything. Wow, that was a polished ride. And no, I'm not talking, uh, as they say, in the punting terms from my pocket. We did our cash in the race, but certainly a ride that can be watched and watched over and over again. A phenomenal performance from Rachel in the saddle. Let us congratulate and f uh, the groom, Sonele Sele, who is here. He gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and behalf of Gold Circle. Well done to you, Sonele. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, it's also lovely to have Warwick Render in the presentation process here and to, to talk to him uh, as we did in a moment ago. And uh, Warwick's here to do the presentations of the trophies and all that goes with it. Come on, Rachel. Come and step in and chat to us. Uh, yes, I am going on and on, and I'm, it's fine. You're, you're entitled to go on and on. We just get excited, and uh, that was a phenomenal ride. Well done. Patient, cool, calm, and collected. Thank you so much. Um, I really enjoyed this video. Work at home and improved so much. I was just worried about the stepping up to the 12, but she settled so beautifully. She managed it perfectly. You didn't panic, and, and she didn't seem to panic either. Just beautifully handled, and she just responded. The more you asked her, the more she responded, and she knows where the winning post is. Yeah, she really does. Um, she really tries her heart out, and uh, I think we get on because we're both cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'm going to talk to Mr. Roberts about the other runners, but Warwick Renders here. Uh, he's representing Willow Magic, and he's got a, a trophy for you. Well done. Thank you very much. There we go. Warwick Render and Rachel Venica. Thank you, and I must say a massive thanks again to the Roberts uh, family. It's so great to have Mrs. Roberts here to lead in the filly. Owned, bred, trained by Mr. Roberts. It's really great, um, and I'm very grateful to be a part of the the operation she's in pink as well which makes it even more special my favorite color <laughs> lovely rachel congratulations come on michael what a lovely uh, win and what a lovely day come through michael let's have a chat and uh, 
first of all, wonderful to have Werner on at the races. We know she's busy, she's got uh, other things to do, but uh, lovely to have her at the races, and bang, you're in the winner's enclosure early. Yes, very much so. You know, this little filly, uh, I always liked her, you know, when she was a weanling from her early days on, on, on um, uh, Spring Valley Farm with Bruce where she was reared and uh, you know the, the first time we ran uh, I must be honest with you I only brought her here to show the track and and because today was the day I really was aiming her for you know and I, and I said to Verna you know obviously she you know, knew she would, she'd come racing today and she surprised us and uh, what a lovely surprise and I, I must say since she's gone back home she hasn't put a foot wrong and the other day I gallop, gave her a little gallop and I tell you what I, I was actually fabulous of the way she, you know, she, she, she quickened up. And I just said to Rachel, just take your time. Let's remember it's 1,200. And, uh, you know, they, they don't pay out at the 200-meter mark. So, and, you know, she's riding very well, top of her form. And obviously a big thank you to my wife and Carolyn who's here today. And, she, you know, she bred her. She knows the family very well, Verna. And, no, it's lovely. I mean, really, you know, this family's giving us a lot of joy and, and pleasure. Before you go, it's, uh, I know you're busy and I don't expect you to go through every runner, but one or two runners to keep an eye on for the rest of the day. You've got a lot of runners and you're meaning business today. Yes, look, they, they cater in bred horses, you know, and, and it's nice to support the, the cater in breeders, you know, and it's a lovely day here for them and, uh, you know, you know, you know, just lovely all around. Uh, at the Tissimo, you know, he, you know, he's been a soldier for the stable. He must be a big runner. He's, he, you know, he's well in at the weights. And uh, Charles Sands, who is obviously the half-brother to this filly, uh, you know, he's won his last two. I'm, I'm concerned about the 1,200 for him because then I think he's a 1,000-meter um, specialist. And then what else have we got? Uh, no, I would say that, you know, you know, that, you know that's probably our, you know, our best runners out. Warwick Renders here. He's got a trophy for you. Enjoy the presentation and well done. Thank you, Warwick. There we go. There's Warwick Render and Michael Roberts. And uh, I know that Carolyn's taking uh, videos and uh, come through Mrs. Verna Roberts. And I'm sure for photographic purposes, Carolyn will join us in a moment as well. Wonderful to have you at the races. We know that you watch every race and you support the family so well, but it's just wonderful to have you here. Welcome. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely day, this. I do enjoy coming. Um, and to have a winner in the first race, well, there's lots to look forward to. So, yes. Mrs. Roberts, uh, she's a filly now. She's run twice, won twice, and just exciting, isn't it? And Baranova, as Michael says, winner after winner. Yes, we've been very fortunate with Baranova, giving us a number of winners now. Um, and she's in fall now to Water Winter. So there again, um, I think we have lots to still look forward to with her. Well, it's lovely to have you and Carolyn and everybody on course. There is your trophy from Warwick Render. Thank you for your support and lovely to have Mrs. Verna Roberts on course. There, I'm just going to step out of the way for photographic purposes. And uh, they're both yours. There we go. And uh, Carolyn's here as well. Congratulations to you, Carolyn. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, that's race one. And uh, it's gone the way of Russian Doll, who remains unbeaten. The numbers are 2631. Race two is up next.